So good morning everybody. Today's topic is optional class. It is one of the important class in Java. This class is basically used to avoid null pointer exception without using try and catch block. We know that sometimes we face the problem that if the reference not point to the object of the class and through the reference if I call any method or any member then program must generate because reference not point to any object uh, then the program must generate a null pointer exception that is the biggest problem in case of java if the reference is null it does not point to any object uh, then what happens i want to extract the member of the class by using that reference of the class then program must terminate by generating what a null pointer exception that is a genuine problem we will face in Java. So every time the traditional application case we are uh, always use try and catch block to handle null pointer exception. Java tell don't do that. A new class is introduced so that is called as optional class. Now see what actually optional class is. Optional is a predefined class present in java.util package. Optional is the final class. We use this class to handle null pointer exception without using try and catch block. Shortly I call. I tell you that uh, if uh, as a programmer we uh, don't want to use try and catch block to handle null pointer exception, then we have to use what uh, one class what the class is uh, that class is called as the uh, optional class this class provides some utility methods uh, through which the programmer check uh, the reference of the class points to the object or not it has some utility method this class having some utility method through which we can check the reference of the class points to the object of that class or not Anyway, what are the methods are available in this? That is, first method is public static optional of nullable. It's a very powerful method. Parameter is object type. It is a static factory method. You know that. What is a factory method? It is the method of the optional class and returning the reference of the optional class. It is a factory method. What is the job of this method? Check here. This method is used to get an instance of the same optional class with some specified value. Listen, it is a static factory method. It extracts the reference of or it, it is used to get an instance of the same optional class with some specified values. Second method is public static optional MP. This is the empty method. What is the job is? This method is used to get the empty instance of optional class. It is also a static factory method. But uh, of knowledgeable case, it creates an object having some data within it. Having some data within that object. But here what happens empty. It returns the optional class instance without any data. Next one is public ticket. This uh, method is used to extract the data from the optional object. Whatever the data available in the optional object, uh, that data is uh, extracted. Anyway, next one is the public boolean is present. This method check that uh, that is uh, some contents are available within the optional class or not. The public boolean is empty. This method check uh, the optional class object is empty or not. Public stream stream. You know that uh, stream is a method. Return type is an interface. Uh, stream interface. That is available in java.util.stream package. Now what is the job is. Uh, this method returns a stream object uh, that contains a value of uh, optional class. This method returns a stream object. Stream is an interface present in java.util.stream package that contains the value of the optional class. Anyway, public optional map function object. You know that function is a functional interface present in 
Java dot util dot function package. So remember one thing that is uh, this interface is a functional interface. You know that functional interface contains only one abstract method. What is the job of this method is uh, it allows us to transform an optional value if uh, it has a value or do nothing if it is empty. Public optional filter that is predicate object. Predicate is also a functional interface. It is particularly used uh, for testing purpose. Uh, method name is test. Uh, I must elaborate uh, when I move to the that is functional interface. Uh, at that moment, I elaborate what is the job of predicate. But till the time, you just remember predicate is a functional interface present in java.util.function package. Uh, anyway, used to filter the value of the optional instance by matching it with the given predicate and returns the filtered optional instance a filtered optional object it extract so these are the popular method which is used by optional class some methods are utility methods by using the utility method it can check that is the object that is what a reference point to the object or not now i just write a simple code import java.io.star or sorry java.util.star i am importing the util package for scanner class and for that is the uh, another class that is called as optional that is public class demo static string s is equal to null this is a static reference uh, of the string class i pass it is initialized by null Public static void main string args. While true, it is an infinite condition. Every time my condition is satisfied, enter into the block. Optional string. String is the uh, generics I used. Uh, that means it must hold the string type of elements. Uh, op is equal to optional dot off nullable s. I already covered off nullable is a static factory method that returns the optional object by containing string elements within it. Uh, it returns an optional object, uh, but uh, it contains a string, but the, that string value is null till the time it is null. I pass a condition if uh, op dot is present. No, it is empty, is empty. So is present. That is, uh, it is till the time s is null. It is not present uh, or it not hold any data. It is empty. String object is empty. Now what happens if the condition is not satisfied, enter into else block. It contains, uh, it uh, construct a scanner object, uh, then it just invite, uh, enter the, that is text. Uh, whatever the text I entered, that is uh, initialize the S. That is the end of the else block. After it is the end of the else block. Now I am in the loop. Uh, so another time, it enter into the loop. Uh, while true, my condition is satisfied. Optional string, OP is equal to, what I can pass here? optional dot off nullable another time i pass it create another optional object but that optional object contains a string if op dot is present yes it contains a string but the string not empty string contains word some data is present then it enter content is op dot get in the optional the string is available get method extract that string and print the value then break Break means word. Is it terminate from if condition or terminate from loop? It terminate from the loop. After terminate from the loop, it is the out from the that is word out from the loop, then main, then class. So that's the simple code I write. By using this code, I show you that of nullable is a static factory method that contains or create a uh, optional instance and a check. Uh, is it contains some value or not? Yes, this optional object contains what a string. For the first time, string is null. Is present returns uh, false. So it enter into else block. Initialize the string. Second time, when the condition satisfied, enter a create optional object. Uh, if op dot is present, yes, now the string is initialized. Uh, then enter into if block. Extract the get method, extract the string and print the value. Now, next one is break. Break means not a break from if, but a break from word while. Very simple code, but when I move to the advanced area, 
I repeatedly use this type of code in Java. See, that's all about optional class.